Well, here we are, finished at last. Well, yes, we are finished at last. I mean, me being an artist, I could carry on for another two weeks just fiddling and changing things. But anyway, this is it, it's finished and she's got her badges on. Um, there are her seven stripes of, to, to represent the seven times that she was imprisoned. Um, 49 times she went on hunger strike, but seven times imprisoned. Um, that is her Holloway prison badge, which I have made from wax, um, cause I couldn't get a, I couldn't locate one. So that's what the Holloway prison badge, um, looked like. And I managed to get some, um, chain to put either side cause the original one had chain beside it. And that is, is her, um, suffragette badge, which looks a little bit like, um, a famous television program badge, but, um, anyway, or possibly a, um, school prefect badge I thought um anyway there she is done and she's holding the census form which says census of England and Wales 1911 um I think the video will tell you a little bit more about that or you can look up the history anyway there she is for better or worse and I'm hoping later on today to put my signature on the back um that is if everybody okays and likes it also Last time I was talking to you about the mortarboard and books that I was making. I've added some more detail, um, a detail of the tassel. Still got a little bit more work to do on that and it's drying out as I look at it. So I'll stop looking at it and I'll turn it around. A um, bit more detail I'm working on on the um, mortarboard. Um, I wasn't going to tell you about the, those there. I've got to fill in quite a bit. Still have the shadows. Um, but it wouldn't work with the rubber going in. We, we wouldn't be able to demold it. So all that, that work would just end up in the bin because you wouldn't be able to get what's inside. I don't know whether you can see what's happening to this book here. Uh, a great big crack has appeared. That's because it's very hot weather. I've got my windows open and the clay is drying out. I just love it not when that sort of thing's happening. Anyway, getting the detail on the books done, which takes forever to write onto clay. Uh, the top book, which she always had with her, is the Holy Bible. I managed to get one to copy, a very old one. So it's the Holy Bible um, with a very interesting... Oh, I just smudged the clay. Um, right, uh, second one is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. And the bottom one was her favourite choice, Chaucer, um, a golden key, which is Chaucer for children, and she um, she was very impressed with um, the character in there, the fair Emily. Um, anyway, I shall continue working on that. Oh, it's cracking up here as well. Look, I think I'll go on strike. Better not, because it's nearly finished. So I'll have to carry on until it's all properly finished. And tomorrow I am starting doing the rubber mould. Oh, joys. As you know, last time I spoke, I just finished signing the sculpture. Um, everybody had seen it, everybody was happy with it, and we were ready to go um, to make the rubber. Well, we, I was ready to go to make the rubber mould. So today, is day one of making the rubber section of the mould, which is a long gruelling process, and I love it not. Um, here is some rubber that I mixed earlier, not too early, otherwise it would have gone off. And it's a mixture of um, the rubber, which is very runny, so I'm not tipping it any further than that. Mixed with the catalyst, this is slow catalyst. Um, and that has to have a 10% of that added to that. So it all has to be weighed out on my scales. Um, and it's great when it all tips the wrong way, which is why I'm wearing this apron because it sort of, it, it shows pictorially what would happen if I was cooking a meal, but actually I'm working with rubber. And I thought she looked a little bit like me anyway. Um, so here we go. This is the rubber ready mixed. And I have two sizes of paintbrushes and I will show you what it's like to paint on the sculpture. Okay, now for the fun. Here's my stuff, two sizes of brush. I'll start with the big one. Um, I had to put some rubber earlier on this morning on these 
bits here because the clay was drying out so much that cracks were appearing. So that's had about two and a half hours of, of that and it's just only just about ready for a second coat. Um, I had to have plastic here because it was dripping. You'll see anyway how it drips. It drips really, really well. That's what we want it to do. We want it to go into all the nooks and crannies and I make a lot of nooks and crannies in my work. And I'm going to see if I can stand tall that completely throw myself off camera. No, I'm, not, I'm just going to do it standing here. I was just pretending. Right, now, very runny. Start from the top and work down. We need it to be runny because we want it to fill in um, all the textured bits. You remember I made marks on the hat to make it look as though it was made of straw, uh, woven material. We want that to show up when it's in bronze. So this is the boring bit. I mean, this could go on for hours, you know. And the flowers. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm having to stipple it in. I hope they've cut some of this film because otherwise it, 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 you'll get bored of watching me doing stippling. My rim, but I can't. I can't not start from here and work down. It's more important to do a good mould than a good camera. Because that can always be cut. This can't. There, and I can see that's all going in the bits. I have to come back and do some bits. Right, now, I'm going to start on her face. Scary. I use a smaller brush, and I'm going to be using that. So here we go. Can't change those eyes now, can I? Too late. So I hope they're okay. Right, now then. Now I use this and I blow. I have to make sure that the rubber goes everywhere. You can see, I hope you can see, little bits where it hasn't, had I not blown, that would just be a hole. There was a big air bubble there. I have to always be very careful also with all this blowing that I don't faint. That's just to worry the camera people. But it does happen. I don't know if you heard that funny clicking noise. That's the air bubbles coming out. Yes, I was just mumbling. Two days it takes just to do the rubber. Then I've got to put the resin jacket on. That's probably another two days by the time I clean it all up and put the bolts, nuts and bolts on it. So, and then all you've got is the big blobby thing that's all joined together. Then you've got to demold. That'll be fun. Not. Oh, right, nostrils. I've got to blow upwards now. I have to make sure the rubber doesn't go down my tube. Oh, 
I'll be doing a second coat that's also runny rubber so I can do the same process that you're seeing me do now over the top of this once it's gone tacky like this to make absolutely certain that all the gaps are filled. Having settled down with the eyes and I'll go and do them again just in case. That's looking good. Ah, this has had an air bubble in it. And now we've got the clay exposed. Hmm. So I better put a bit more in there, very gently. That was the one that was making, and it's making a clicky noise again now. That can sometimes mean that the air pocket has won and I have lost and I don't like losing. I'm hoping that I will be able to finish two coats by tonight um, because my husband is cooking me rather a special meal and I don't want to tell him I can't come in to eat it because I'm busy working. That would be rather rude. Um, so, oh dear, sorry, I've got to blow in her mouth now. So I'm sure you don't want to hang around here watching me do this because it's, you know, you've heard about watching paint dry. Well, I can assure you that watching rubber dry is a hundred times worse. So come and have another look at another time when I'm much further forward with this. I'm putting the rubber on thicker and we're maybe building up the seams and things and I can talk you through the next stage. Okay.